Welcome. My name is Paul Thompson, and I'm the Vice President of Business Development at Ormat Technologies in Reno, Nevada. Ormat has over five decades of experience manufacturing geothermal equipment and developing geothermal projects. And today, we're the only completely vertically integrated geothermal developer in the world. That's easy for me to say. Today, I'm going to walk you through a virtual tour of our Steamboat Hills geothermal facility. This 28.4 megawatt facility, located in Washoe County, Nevada, is an important source of clean energy for the region. The facility itself is brand new, completed in 2020, but the geothermal resource is over 30 years old. Originally, there was a 10 megawatt facility built in 1986 that utilized a flash technology. But due to the moderate temperature resource, it wasn't very efficient. Because we are constantly focused on improving efficiency and sustainability at ORMAT, in 2019, we began our plan to decommission the original facility and replace it with our most state-of-the-art facility to date. Let's go on a tour and see some of the components of that plant that make it so innovative. In order to deliver the fluid from the existing geothermal reservoir to the Steamboat Hills facility, 8,000 feet of new pipeline was added to the existing pipeline infrastructure. Our renewable energy solutions are derived from nature and as a result, we placed utmost significance on accessing the potential impacts of the local biodiversity and the natural and cultural environments surrounding our power plants. Unlike most of our plants, which are miles from towns and cities, the Steamboat Hills geothermal facility is within the city limits of Reno. We strive to design a facility that blends into the surrounding landscape to minimize the impact on our human and animal neighbors. Before constructing any facility, we always conduct environmental and social impact assessments to help us develop appropriate structures and maintain the natural environment of the site. Our pipelines are designed to accommodate surrounding wildlife, while our structures are developed to minimize visual impact and disturbance of the landscape. Steamboat Hills is what is known as an integrated three-level facility and has a total of three turbines. Our turbines are the single most important element of an ORMAT geothermal power plant. The turbine, rotating by the force of pressurized vapor, rotates the generator, producing clean electricity with zero carbon emissions 24 hours a day. From the initial single-stage turbine designed in 1965 to our newest five-stage turbine today, the improvements in our turbine designs have set us apart from our competitors. And with 400 million cumulative working hours, we've had plenty of time to, per per to perfect their performance. I mentioned that the turbine rotates by the force of vapor. But where does that vapor come from? This is what is known as a heat exchanger. Geothermal brine, approximately 300 degrees Fahrenheit at this site, is piped from the reservoir to the heat exchanger, where the brine heats a separate working fluid to a vapor. The beauty of the heat exchanger is that the geothermal brine never comes into contact with the working fluid or with the turbine. After the brine has done its job, it's piped back to the reservoir to cycle back through the reservoir to the production well. Meanwhile, the working 
fluid vapor rotates the turbine to generate electricity, and then the vapor is cooled back down to a liquid before it goes back through the process over and over again. There are several ways to cool the working fluid back to a liquid after it has done the hard work of rotating the turbine. The original facility at Steamboat Hills operated using a water-cooled system. In an effort to build a more sustainable plant and to minimize the energy needed for cooling, the new Steamboat Hills project was developed using an air-cooled system. Now, 100% of the geothermal fluid is re-injected and there is no water consumption at the power plant. Since 1986, we have been a pioneer in deploying air-cooled solutions at our facilities around the world. Through comprehensive research over the years, we have developed the most efficient air cooling systems for geothermal use on the market today. And this plant is special. It utilizes tilted air cooling bundles at a 6% angle to improve efficiency. This efficiency sets us apart and allows us to deliver more energy with less of an environmental footprint. By making these air cooling systems available to third party developers, our goal is to move the industry toward zero water consumption. Being a fully integrated company is a great advantage because we manufacture the air cooling system, heat exchangers, and our patented turbines. Our equipment works together seamlessly. This reduces construction timelines and maintenance costs and maximizes power production for our customers. This plant is the sixth facility built at the Steamboat Geothermal Complex. Altogether, the plants at this complex produce 85 megawatts of electricity. That's enough power for nearly 64,000 homes. For over 30 years, this complex has been producing power for the region. With the addition of the new Steamboat Hills facility, the entire Steamboat Complex now avoids nearly 400,000 metric tons of CO2 annually when you compare it to a natural gas facility producing the same amount of power. And did you know a geothermal facility has a footprint 22 times smaller than a solar power facility producing an equivalent amount of power? That's 22 times less surface land disturbance needed to produce the same amount of power which is great for the wildlife living in the area and the surrounding community.
The control room at the Steamboat Hills Geothermal Complex oversees operations of all six plants at the complex, in addition to the Brady Complex in Churchill County, Nevada. Water flow, energy production, and plant operations are monitored 24 hours a day to ensure that our plant gets to our customers without a hitch. On average, a 30 megawatt power plant will employ 20 full-time staff for the day-to-day -day operations of the facility. These employees are vital to ensuring smooth power delivery year-round. The new Steamboat Hills facility was officially commissioned on June 6, 2020, just under a year from the start of construction. We're proud of the components that make this facility our most state-of-the-art yet, and we can't wait to expand on this innovation with future projects around the globe. Thank you for joining me on a tour of our Steamboat Hills facility. For more information, or to view the 360 video on your own, please visit www.ormat.com.